This is insane. This new AI is creating truly incredible videos and it's free. Look at this bird, it looks completely natural. The movement of objects and the lighting in the background are, are spot on. This video of a child blew me away. The way the hands move, the eyes, and even the facial muscles while chewing all look so real. It's unbelievable how accurate and lifelike everything is. This AI has even nailed producing aerial nature videos, capturing them beautifully. When it comes to animal videos, it can bring your most creative fantasies to life and leave you amazed. The AI's videos come in two modes, standard and professional. For example, this is one of the professional samples. To understand the difference between these two modes, compare the AI's outputs with Sora and see how to use this tool. Stay with me until the end of this video. First, let's go to the website, klingaoi.com. On the homepage, you'll see many examples of images created by other users. Checking out these examples can give you ideas on how to write your prompts or what settings to use. Plus, if you find one you really like, you can click on clone and try to create a new video or image with the same details. Let's try it out together. Click on sign in for free credits and then go to the sign up section. Enter your email and desired password, then enter the code sent to your email in this section. Once you sign in, you'll get 66 credits, which reloads daily. Just for the record, each video costs you 10 credits. As I mentioned, this AI has three main sections. For now, we're gonna try AI videos. In the text to video section, you can write your prompt, and I'm going to try one of Sora's popular prompts. In the settings, you can adjust the AI's creativity level. In the free mode, you can only use the standard mode. You can check out the AI's paid plans here and uh, purchase one if needed. The video length is set to five seconds, but in the professional mode, you can extend it up to 10 seconds. A really cool feature of this AI is the precise camera movement control, which you can adjust from this section. Lastly, by writing a negative prompt, you can increase the accuracy of your work. I think it's pretty simple, so let's give it a try. My first attempt had some issues, as you can see. Now I'm increasing the creativity level and adding a negative prompt. The second try was better, but still not as good as Sora's work. Now I'm going to test one of the professional videos with the exact same details in standard mode so you can see the difference. In my opinion, even the standard mode has decent quality. Another section of this AI is image to video, which we can also try together. This one is also acceptable. Now let's take a look at um, AI image tools and see the quality of the sample works this AI can produce. As you can see, it seems to have strong capabilities across various styles, making it a good option for visualizing your ideas. We'll enter the AI images section and type our desired text in the prompt box. For this example, I use one of the AI's own suggestions. But you can describe any idea you have in mind here, in any style you like, and it will create it for you. It could be an image of people, animals, or even natural landscapes. Next, you can upload an image as a reference, which we'll try later. In the following section, you can specify the size and number of images. It seems you need one credit to generate every five images, and since the number of credits per day is limited, be careful to manage them so you don't run out. However, you can solve this issue by using different email accounts with each one getting 66 credits per day. I think it's a reliable tool with a high ability to generate images. Now let's try another prompt related to animals. Creating images of animals can be a good challenge for evaluating an AI.
that's great. I think it has managed to deliver a satisfactory result in terms of anatomy and the environment and lighting are of high quality. The image details are very fine with impressive accuracy. From this section, you can download the generated images. There's also a button here for creating a video from these images. This button is provided for using the image as a reference. In professional mode, you can use the extend option as well. For the next step, I used an image as a reference to um, compare the results. Let's try another reference image now. I think it's good and it might be able to compete well with other AI tools in the future. As you may know, this AI is developed in China and its creators are continuously expanding its capabilities. In the future, this AI is set to include other features such as video editing. Overall, I believe it could be quite useful for content creation. This AI, alongside competitors like Leonardo AI, Midjourney, Gen2, and other AIs, has the potential to advance the content creation industry and bring significant changes to its structure. In the coming months, we're likely to hear more about this AI and its new capabilities. I hope you can use this to create creative videos. Until next time, stay creative.